Neil Robertson, the world number one. Of course, former world champion at the traditional game. He's up against Deshwat Pumjang here in Bangkok in the World Six Race Championship. This is Group C. And uh, at the moment, the two players both have beaten. Robertson's won his first three. And uh, so is Deshawat Pumjang. So uh, looks like they're both qualified. Pumjang, of course, we saw at the Crucible. Was uh, a real breath of fresh air. Beat Steve Maguire 10 9 in the first round, went out in the second round, but he was remembered more for his antics, I think, than his, his actual play. He certainly enjoyed himself. Robertson didn't. He was a first round loser to Robert Milkins. But since then, of course, he's uh, won the Wushy Classic this season. Well, as always with those shots, you need to avoid the bulk colours. There's a little tempter here for Deshawat on the left-hand side. And he's been enjoying himself this week with some good victories. Can he get another against the world number one? Tall order. and covered that red down the table. So, an early chance here for the Aussie. We I mean, know what a great match player this guy is. He's, he's so consistent. Very rarely plays the wrong shot. Three. Gotta say, Four. probably one of the best stories in sport, really, David, when he came over to the UK with five hundred pounds in his pocket. And now he's amassed over two million pounds at the table. Well that's inflation for you. <laughs> yeah, no, great. Great story, as you say, and uh, a great effort. And he's had to work hard, that's the point. Not working hard wasn't an option for Neil Robertson. So uh, it's an inspirational story, and uh, he's right at the top of the world rankings. World number one, he's won the world title, the Masters. Total of eight ranking events, well. makes him the most successful non-British player who's ever played. And you've got to feel there's plenty more to come. It's only 31. Nineteen. Twenty. Well, a great chance here to take this opening frame. Black puts it 27 in front, so red, colour red, it should be 1-0. 27. Twenty-eight. Just looking at the world rankings as well, David. I know this isn't a ranking event, but there's quite a gap between him and, and two or three others behind him. You know, I think he's going to be... Well, obviously, if he's consistent again this year, there's, he's going to stay there. There's no doubt about that. Could be there for some time. Well, he still needs this red to win this frame. He's 35 up with 35 on. There it is. He was never really in doubt. He was looking at it a little anxiously, but she got down and knocked it in. Forty-two. Oh. 
堀子。Well, another class act, another player that's queuing well this week, and it all bodes well for the, towards the weekend and we get to the business end. Yes, I suppose the group stages are sort of jockeying for position, but the fireworks are going to start when the knockout 62. comes tomorrow. This is a good start for Neil Robertson. 69, 69 clearance to take the opening frame. Nothing wrong with any of that. Robertson. Terrific clearance from the Australian. Remember, these two players have each won all three matches they've played so far, so uh, it's a bit of a top-of-the-table clash, this. And at the moment, it's advantage Australia. Neil Robertson leads Deshawat Poomjang 1-0. So Deshawat Poomjang didn't pot a ball in the first frame. He was a spectator for it. Let's see how he fares here in frame two. He's up to his highest uh, ever ranking of 62nd. <laughs> Not a great break-off shot, really. Poom Jang, a former world amateur champion. Won that event three years ago. Was close. That was a great effort. Good cue ball, though. He certainly made an impact, didn't he, at the Crucible? This uh, didn't quite know what to expect from him. I remember he potted one ball with his eyes shut <laughs> in one frame. <laughs> of course, he was he lost a frame on the three miss rule. Great, and he's left the red on to the centre pocket. He wanted that white tight to the top cushion there. Well, I'm sure he thought he'd got that. So did I, actually, when he went across the table. No damage done, though. Great safety from Neil. He's offered up this chance. And Deshawat takes it. He just brought another one into a better position. He's OK, he's got the blue and he, he can play on that red near the right centre pocket. Good crowd in as well to watch this match. It's an interesting encounter between these two. And he misses the blue. They show us what? One. 
Well, all you can do here just drop the black in and leave himself an angle on the red near the centre pocket. He's got to get the black first, though. Ian Robertson. Well, he's got away with that. Got to be careful here, opening up these three reds. This fast, it keeps travelling that cue ball. Pick that one out nicely. Yeah, I don't know whether he has a shot on the black here. He might have. Chose to play the brown, and that's excellent cueing. Just run on a little bit uh, further than he would have liked. And if he's going to cut this back into the middle, <coughs> this is a, a tricky one. They can always catch the near knuckle with these. Oh, great shot. Well, he has a shot on the black this time, and he can hold for the red above the black spot. as we watch the replay but so often as we've seen in these frames this week already that there's that one red behind the pink once more so he's going to have to play a cannon into it 13. Have to make sure of the cannon of course otherwise 14. you leave yourself snookered well if he gets this right it's 2-0 Play. Perfect. Twenty one. Just uh, well, red and black or pink would be enough. Twenty two. Frame ball coming up then to leave Deshua needing snookers. Well, we know that um, Neil should win this match, but we also know that uh, Deshawat is a dangerous player. So there's no doubt Neil will give him the utmost respect. He's probably already seen his results in the group already. So he wants to nail this match if he can. 34. Well, he certainly looks determined to do that from the way he started. Jang's only potted one ball so far. Forty-three. It looks very sharp, does Neil Robertson, as he has done the last couple of years. Very consistent. So he wins uh, the second frame as well, and uh, great start from the Aussie. And the pressure now on Deshawat Pumjang. He's got to get himself involved in this match because there's a danger he could be steamrolled here. It's Neil Robertson in early control, first to five wins. Robertson leads Pumjang here in Bangkok by two frames to nil. This is frame five. It's four nil to Neil Robertson. So he only needs one more, and he will be the winner.
the end of the day, you know, it's still snooker. It's, OK, there's nine fewer reds, but apart from that, it's the same game. So there's no great surprise that he should be dominating like this. Yes, and a, a good break-off shot as well. Let's have a look what uh, Hawkeye sees then. Mm, that's not very inviting, is it? He's going to have to come off that left and top cushions, I think, just lay into the pack. That's uh, the non-hitting area. Well, the bigger target, of course, is coming off the right-hand cushion, but now as you're playing a glancing blow here, is it two cushions? Oh, that was a fraction away from Foul being good. And a miss. I think Neil that Robinson. will go back. No, Six. Is that a free ball? Free ball. It's been declared. Well, no good really to kneel the free ball. He could take the brown on as the red, but it's not an easy pot. Will he have them put back? I would assume so. has a chance actually dropping the green into the center as the red he would be on the brown he was in trouble there well if he goes for this green to the middle he's going for frame and match of course play the brown actually come down for the black green it is trying to drop this in looks good oh great shot now he's giving himself a chance to win the match and it would be a 5-0 would be a good what? victory against Deshawa he's a good player and it could be a seven red clearance. I don't want to get too excited, but so that's a free ball. <laughs> could be a break of more than 75. Five. Of course, the highest possible break in the traditional snook is 155. We've never seen one in a tournament. Jamie Burnett had a 148. Six. In the UK qualifiers about <laughs> 10 years ago now. That's clever. He purposely left himself low on this red because he 13. can split other reds from this shot. Probably go down for the blue. Well, he's playing with topspin. He's going through them. Oh, didn't get enough topspin on the white for the black. I'm surprised he's played it that way. I thought he would just stun off them back for the blue. He's out of position now. What a chance that was to win the match. If he plays on the blue, I think it's guaranteed position. Yes, it's uh, it's just stuck on that second red. Well, <laughs> it's all gone wrong there. Well, if you're sinking the engine the World Billiards Championship, that was a good shot. Neil Robertson, 14. Well, even the greats can make mistakes. It's a tough old game, this, and he just slightly lost the plot there. So, uh, well, it's not a seven red clearance, and uh, it was rather embarrassing in the end for Neil Robertson. So let's have a look at it again, just to rub it in. There it is. <laughs>
Uh, nicely done. Well, he's got into it too much, really. He's played on the blue to the centre, but uh, I think he can play this blue to the corner and just drop on that right and red of the three. Well, it's a long way back for this man at the table, but he must have thought that when Neil was there, that uh, the match was over. Six. Seven. Hasn't played that very well. He's trying to get behind them into 14. the same corner pocket. It's a poor shot by his standards, and he knows it. Chawat, 14. <coughs> a shake of the head for the positional shot on the red. There's a possible plant on here for Neil with safety in mind, but got to be careful it doesn't rattle the red. It stays there. Well, it's come away from the pocket slightly. Well, I think it's possible. Wasn't that far away with the plant. He's in good position in this match, he knows it. He's got away with it. It's a good pace, this uh, main match table. It's got better as the week has gone on. Now there's a little tempter here, down this right-hand cushion. Has he got it covered? I'm not sure, I think just about. Yes, Neil, a little fortunate not to leave that red on.
a bit thinner than intended. Now, will Deshua have a go at this one? He likes taking these on. Hang on. <laughs> he was looking for it. Great pot. But, uh, last red is wedged to the top cushion. Just snooked himself with it as well. Three. He's having a look to see if there's a little gap here. Looks like there is. Neil Robertson, three. Well, I think this frame is all about the blue now. It'll be blue to pink for either player. level then, 23 each. And he's not going to need the pink, so he can get on the blue from the brown. All he has to do is drop it in. He won't need to play position. Robertson still, of course, uh, looking good in the match, whatever happens here. That's a good shot. He's got a good angle just to drop in behind the blue. Just checking the scoreboard. He's done the maths. Brown and blue needed. This would be a good steal. Well, no heroics here. Just drop the blue in. Lead by 14 with 13 on. Robertson needs a snooker.
देश अवर्थ सेवेंटीन Cracking pot that was. The white was tight to the top cushion. He's knocked it in like it's over the pocket. So he's won the frame. He's still a long way back, of course. Neil Robertson still a frame from victory. But uh, Poomjang clearly hasn't given this one up yet. Neil Robertson leading him by four frames to one. Well, Poomjang has got a frame on the board. Let's see if he can uh, make the match a little closer here in frame six. Great safety there, just got uh, Deshawan wrong sided slightly. He might be forced into a pot here on the left hand side. Some dignitaries there watching this match. I think he's looking for the thin safety. Well, he's played that well. Very good shot. Just look at that. Can't get better than that. They're so easy to hit those on the thick side and and just run into other reds, but he played it perfectly. Bad return from Neil either, considering where he was. But again, this red on the left-hand side is potable. It's much easier this time than it was last. And uh, Deshawat just coming round to have a look at the black. It, uh, I'm sure it just passed that red to the right corner. Might see him have a go at this one. But he's got to be careful here because he'll be leaving everything on, and it could be frame and match. This is a big chop. Oh, brilliant. A cracker, as indeed that pink was at the end of that last frame. So, uh, well, he's, uh, as I say, not giving it up yet. Here he's on home soil, the only chance every year to play in his native Thailand. He's uh, going to try and make the most of this. Nine. Well, first of all, you have to have the courage to take those reds on, but when they go in, they're the sort of shots that do deserve to win frames. Sixteen. He's a bit of a character, this lad. I'm definitely going to see more of him on our screens in the, in the near future. Seventeen. And uh, I think the nice thing about it is the fact that he, he actually looks like he's enjoying what he's doing out there. Although Neil won't be enjoying this little rally from him. 4-0, he looked good. 
Could become 4-2. And they will have to refocus. 25. Well, again, a great long pot and uh, just one red needed now to win another frame. It's not exactly 22. time to panic for Neil Robertson, but even so, he'd like this over as quickly as he can, not least because Pumjang is now starting to play really well. And these frames don't take long when they're reeled off like this, so all of a sudden it could get a lot closer in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. 33. A little kick, I think, that. The good news is Robertson needs a snooker, and he is still on this red, not quite as intended, but uh, if he knocks it in, certainly the frame is his. And it's going to be 4-2 from 4-0, remember. As I say, Robertson not panicking yet, but uh, he doesn't want this to get too much closer, needless to say. 39. Left-handed. They're all at it. <laughs> Must be annoying. Uh, a lot of people who play in clubs and... 43. Obviously find it hard to make the big breaks to see players playing really well with both hands. 45. Well, Deshawat Pumjang has come to the party. Question is, has he left it too late? 52. He yeah, only scored six points in the first three frames, but the uh, last couple have been better from his point of view. Good long red to get in here. 57. And that'll teach him for showing off. <laughs> Doesn't matter when he can knock those in. <laughs> 63. Well, come on then, knock this in. Yeah, a double, or is he going to cut it in? Hang on, hang on. Treble. <laughs> <laughs> what a showman. <laughs> Deshawat Poom Jang with a great 70 break there as well in his second frame of the match. And, uh, well, he's made it interesting now. Neil Robertson still won from victory. Still favourite, but it was 4-0. He's now leading Deshawat Poomjang here in Bangkok by four frames to two. Well, if it goes 4-3, then it does get a little bit anxious from Neil Robertson's point of view. So as he breaks off here in frame seven, he, I'm sure he wants to put this one to bed. Again, a good break-off shot from Neil there. I think he's just coming off the top cushion, dead weight to, to uh, go into the pack. Oh, that's, is that pacey enough? I think that's short. Foul and a miss, Neil Robertson, four. Yes, yeah, so there was nothing there for, for Neil, so having it put back.
Same again then. Just need to be a touch harder here. He's trying to hit the left hand red, of course, not to leave anything on. Now, has he got the pace right this time? It looks good. Great shot. Well played. Well, I think Neil's contemplating a two ball plant here and screwing back for either the blue or one of the bulk colours. It's the two reds that's nearest to us. He's checking the angle. This would be some shot. No, oh, great shot. He's got a shot on the yellow. Well, just look at that. Had to be made. Spin around to have a look at these reds. If anything goes to this left corner pocket, if not, you'll hold for the one down there. Now, is he on one here to this left corner? He's got the alternative Three. red, of course, at the table. I think the back red goes. Not so sure about the others in the middle of the pack. Played that well. Now he could do with leaving himself an angle to try and split these reds. I don't think there's any reds available after this one. Well, that's, he's got a perfect angle on the yellow, on the green, I should say. <coughs> well, he's just checking to see if the, the bottom red goes, but if he can just get into these three reds off this green, uh, it could be all over for Deshawa. Might be all about this next shot. Well, he's played on the red, so obviously the back one goes. And it will open 15. up one more. Well played. 16. It's very noticeable that Neil's tempo around the table is slowed. He, he means business here. Now, can he clip the other red away from that uh, pink? Has he got the angle? I'm not sure. But he plays the cannon into that final red so well. We've seen it on numerous occasions. 24. Well, here we go again. Exactly the same shot. Half ball contact. The match is over. Only needs black and red. Missed it. Well, that surprises us because he's not missed one all week so far. 21 such an important shot as well so there you see it 35 ahead still 35 on not quite there yet just notice something on the white you can see you can see a bit of the red but uh, obviously wanted to play and get the cannon and that would have been match over yeah he'd be annoyed with himself a little bit because we've seen him play three or four of those so, so far this week, and he's played them beautifully. I think it would have been the shake of the hand, uh, hands and out of the arena now, if you got that right. So, Poomjan can tie the frame. He would need red, black, and the colours to do that.
spotted the red, but needs the black what? off it. Well, he's got to knock something in, preferably a high-value colour, but he's still going to need a snooker after that if it's not the black. Do with the brown or the blue. Yes, I think he's playing the brown. He only needs one snooker with the brown. Yeah, 30 in it, Five. 27 on. Just about perfect. He can screw him behind the brown here. But he needs to try and weld that cue ball to that brown. Make it as difficult as possible for Neil Robertson. Well, it's it's a snooker, but it's not an easy, uh, not a difficult one to hit, I should say. Bit of left hand side on the cue ball here, top cushion. Hang on. Oh. Now, it seems that uh, you can get through the gap here. Might have to play a well a pot on the green and try and lay the snook on the on the brown. Three. Trying to get the white behind the black, but he must make sure that he keeps that brown safe. Neil just wanting that one chance to clinch victory. Great effort, just too hard. He had a, just a touch of side on the cue ball, which flicked it around the black there. Great effort, though. turning into a very good match between these two.
Well, what about this one? That's a great shot. Well, well thought out, well executed. Should hit this off one cushion. Well, that hasn't helped his cause, pushing that black towards the top cushion. Might have got one back here. Wow, what about that for a bonus? It's a, a crazy game at times. Yes, it's hard enough when you're playing the world number one, but uh, when he snookers you back, Well, Deshawat's got the problems now, even more so. He's got to somehow, first of all, hit the brown and, and get it safe. And if he doesn't, he knows it could be all over. Mind you, I think you can see an edge of this. It looked full ball at first glance. Oh. Well, that could be it now. Yeah, you'd think so. Certainly if the brown goes in, it's going to be Robertson going through. He'll be relieved because he was 4-0 up. Pumchank started to play Four. really well, but looks like uh, his challenge is over in this match. Of course, uh, it looks like he's going to qualify, though, for the knockout phase, so it's not terminal for him. Nine. So Robertson then uh, played 4-1-4. Four, four. And you can see he's uh, happy it's over now. He's put through the mill a little bit towards the end of the match, but he's come through it. Uh, and uh, he's happy, I think it's fair to say, relieved. Did all the damage early on in the match when he led 4-0. As I say, Pumjang played his best snooker towards the end, last three frames, but he couldn't win this one ultimately. And Robertson wins the match 5-2, and uh, I think we'll be seeing both of them, I'm sure we will, in the knockout phase, which starts on Thursday.